Hello beautifuls, my name is Coavier and I'm the creator of Juju Time. In this video, I'm going to channel a message from the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother and their messengers for giving us a little screenshot of what it is that we need to know as we go along our journey towards peace, love, joy, and abundance and any advice that they may have. If you like to book a reading, the link for my bookings can be found in the description down below. Um, and you can also go to my blog on Substack and on that blog at the top, you can also find that link and also you can sign up for my newsletter so you can get all the extra content that I will be creating over there um, on my blog. So I'm very excited about that. But anyway, I'm very, I'm feeling very energized to jump right on in. In the description below, you'll also find timestamps if there's any particular area that you're feeling called to listen. But definitely lean into your intuition, lean into your guide so that way you can hear the message that they brought you here to listen for. But alrighty, let's jump right on in. Okay, so we're starting off strong of where you all are at right now in your journey and there is just a massive transformation that you are basically standing in front of. It's moving through me a bit that um, this transformation is coming at a very important part in your life right now, I would say. But it definitely feels unplanned for. It feels as though like currently right now you're on the brink of something. You're on the brink of some kind of breakthrough. I'm definitely hearing from spirit to lean into that, to accept it, to go through the process of grief if grief is what you're needing to go through. Um, but I feel as though for many it's more of a celebration. It's more of a celebration of this revelation, this breakthrough that spirit is um like i'm feeling like and inside my body i'm feeling as though like i'm being like lifted and like energized so this transformation this death that's happened um within yourself or in your surroundings for your journey it feels very it feels very liberating it feels very liberating as though you've been waiting for this breakthrough so the spirit that's currently around you right now, they're bringing in these swift changes. They're definitely bringing in this sense of action. I need to do something or go forward. There's a lot of just strong mental capabilities that this spirit that's around you is um, sort of fueling you with. But what I am getting from spirit as well is that this spirit that's around you though they're fueling you with all this energized momentum forward spirit wants you to also remember the lessons that you've learned right um to make sure that as you are going forward there's something about not being rash or being very decisive yes but not making decisions from um, a sense of worry or haste or I'm losing out or because it can get kind of confusing. I'm spirit is moving through me this like this energy. It's there's a lot of excitement and a lot of fuel to go forward, but there's a thin line. Excitement kind of is running on a thin line where it feels like uh, it feels like excitement and also a little worry, a little anxiety, but it's not, it's just, it gets kind of confusing sometimes. Like, am I feeling anxious or am I just excited? You know, and so in those moments when you do feel as though there is a sense of confusion on if you're feeling excitement or anxiety, take that pause. You can take that pause before you continue forward, okay? But definitely this is a beautiful uh, spirit that is, that is around you. Yeah, okay. So we got the fool that's coming in, that's coming into your life. So definitely there's, 
there's this turning of a page that has happened um, and because of where you currently are in this page that you have turned for many it's feeling very internal right this page is revelation that you've made it feels very very internal um, but for many this internal could have manifested into the external and so because of this things are moving very very fast or I'm even getting as well you're just getting so many downloads quick 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 spirit definitely Spirit wants me to let you know. I'm also feeling like I need to speak faster, which doesn't work out for me because I don't, I can't. I start stuttering when I speak too fast or there's too much energy or excitement or any kind of heightened emotion. I start stuttering. So I need to breathe and I need to slow down myself so that way I can deliver this message to you all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so... Hmm. All right. Okay. So Spirit wants me to let you know to write everything down when you get this idea. No matter how crazy or like absurd it sounds, just write it down, right? Because even though it may not be manifesting right right now, there's something about you you just trusting the downloads that you're getting trusting the inspiration trusting the muse like energy that this reading is giving you but also that's that's just around you and you just think of something write it down or if you don't have any paper or pencil around you in the moment you know text it to yourself i do that a lot where on whatsapp um I text things to myself so that way I can go back to it later on or just write it down like in a like in your notes section of your phone or something I'm just getting a very strong urge that I need to just write things down so please please do that okay uh, yeah because what's coming into your life right now is an energy that is definitely bringing about um, this new journey, this new uh, path that you have sort of dedicated yourself to. Actually, if anything, I'm remembering a reading that I did a few weeks ago and the word devotion came up. So you've devoted yourself to something recently and because of this devotion, there's this new journey that you are on. And so as this is coming into your life, make sure that you are opening up your arms freely, okay? You have turned the page and though, you know, this transformation like energy that you're in now, there's still, you know, I don't know, I'm getting like lingering bodies, lingering skeletons that you have to deal with and that is something that you will deal with. But when it comes to this specific devotion, there's like this new creative energy. There's this new um, questioning everything, like asking questions, being very interested, learning something new. It's, it's giving as though like you've started this new class and you're just absorbing everything that's around you. Oh, wow. Okay interesting yeah there's a sense of surrender that is needing to happen so make sure that you surrender those around you may not quite understand where you're at or even just like what you're saying or like the downloads that you're getting perhaps but there but it's not meant for them to understand there's like seeds being planted right right now and so continue planting these seeds and this is the reason why this is coming into your life because of this devotion you're now able to have some kind of clear vision based off of what you're downloading or what you're realizing that you're wanting or needing or and, and things like this and though it's small it still feels like it's enough like this seed is enough and i'm gonna plant this seed and so yeah this is that's quite that is that is that's beautiful i love that okay i'm looking at your physical environment right now 
and yeah, your you know your physical environment is one where it feels as though you've turned around and you still see what you still have. Perhaps there was a loss of something, but it wasn't a loss, right? There was some kind of a gain. There was some kind of a, like a letting go that needed to happen so you can turn around and see all that you still do have, okay? And so, this is why this is coming into your life, the seeds that are being planted, this sense of curiosity. It's definitely moving through me as though like faith has been renewed. Vision has been renewed. Yeah, and the lessons that you're learning from your physical environment is one where you realize that you don't have to endure any kind of cruelty. You don't have to endure um suffering there's like this affirmation of ease that spirit is wanting you to realize and so perhaps this is that transformation is sort of an understanding of what you do deserve for a few i'm also getting as well um like just treating yourself better this cruelty that you would like inflict on yourself there's like a shadow, okay, I'm seeing a shadow. And before, it seems like I didn't wanna look at the shadow, I didn't wanna face the shadow, but now I'm looking straight at the shadow. And the shadow no longer terrifies me, you know? And so it's like you've confronted something as well. For a few, you've confronted something in yourself of how you have sort of cycled this cruelty or suffering within yourself so there's very like a deliberate like affirmation of kindness and treating yourself better and as well as treating yourself better like treating your mind better because there's also a sense of like your mental health and how your mental health has um been kind of a a barrier and so perhaps that's that shadow that you're facing and now you're like okay I see this as something else that I need to deal with or handle and you're up for it. You're up to asking the difficult questions, but not in a way to bring yourself down. It's more of like, okay, what is it that I need? And even there's something with the body. There's something with treating your body better that's moving through me, like being kinder to your body. So there's just like all around emotionally, mentally, you are turning around and seeing like what more you can offer yourself or what more there actually is around you and also the lesson of this despair this cruelty is not your story and that's a beautiful state to be in when you finally make that realization you know like what you've been given is not what you deserved and yes and this makes this makes a lot of okay this makes a lot of sense of this transformation that you're currently in right because sometimes spirit will move through me transformation being very difficult and though transformation is very difficult there's something i feel that's very welcoming that i'm feeling about it so that's beautiful state to be in. You've gone forward because you're ready for it, of what's coming in. You're definitely ready for it. Okay. So what's leaving your life right now is this sense of like unsettledness. Yeah, there's something quite stable that's being uh, installed. I don't, installed, that's such a weird word. <laughs> ah, reprogrammed. Okay, yes, that's being reprogrammed. Um, but there's some kind of unsettled feeling, anxious feeling. Okay, spirit moved through me the words nervous system. Okay, so there's something with your nervous system that uh, this overly um, stimulated nervous system that is leaving your life. And it's, it, it's moving through me that this feels very 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 important it seems like it has affected you on many levels of just okay it's affected you yes emotionally and mentally and I'm, the the body is coming back up again 
and you feel it within your body uh, and I feel it a lot around like my hips hips being very tight um, even perhaps sexually things just felt very uncomfortable you know or not the pleasure that you know that you deserve in a way so there's this kind of like this like there's there's a releasing of that there's like a relaxing very much rooted in your root energy center and also like the lower back i'm also getting that spirit is um saying that this is going to be this is what's leaving your life so any kind of action that uh, or exercise or stretches or therapy or anything that you feel called to do to sort of understand what's going on in your root in your root energy center to understand what's going on with your nervous system and how you can be a better support in that process will be very beneficial in you releasing which is very much in like it's mirroring what's coming into your life because you're in a state now where what's entering your life it's just it feels more open and more curious and more explorative and more adventurous and okay yeah i'm here okay so once again it's that very weird image i got of like you know this aspect of this transformation and that there's still these lingering aspects that you know you have to confront and once again you are confronting it but you're giving yourself a lot more of a stable foundation because you're wanting to just up you know because of this overstimulated aspect of yourself will be calming down more you'll be able to open and receive more however way that is showing up in your life of how to be open whether it's your heart space or your root um energy center or your sexual energy center whatever it is there's something just more curious and open about it yeah in terms of your journey uh with your passions whatever your passions are or just feeling passionate again actually it's not even I mean, yeah, there's a lot of downloads, absolutely, but this downloads, it just feels just, it feels like you're passionate again. I'm glad, I'm glad. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is leaving your life. Oh, I love this. There's this fulfillment that is happening, this fulfillment of being able to give, being able to provide, being able to serve, serve, is a word that's moving through me very strongly and it's very much this feeling of inner fulfillment inner fulfillment this is very this that's that's very beautiful you have a lot of court cards that are happening so there's some major players um within your spiritual court if you feel called definitely um partake in some meditations some mental meditations where you're connecting with your spirit guides. I'm also getting connecting with, um, actually, the word nature, spirit. It was. It's. It's not even earth. I'm seeing like it's nature itself. So being able to get outside, I'm seeing like feet being like put in the grass, like connecting your feet to the earth kind of like groundedness because your spiritual environment is one of like groundedness it's one of practicality it's like finding the beauty in the mundane finding the magical in the mundane and that the mundane and this is all going on like internally because this is your unseen world but there's something very rooted and grounded within your spiritual environment that has like come into your life that has like entered in so that way it's like your devotion is now rooted okay and now i'm seeing like those like seeds again 
you're planting these seeds again and it's providing you so much more internal structure so you can deal with these skeletons you can deal with this you know within your spiritual uh, within your physical environment you know facing that shadow facing um this these ideas of suffering cruelty you know and despair depression anxiety right it's like something internally feels much more stronger than let's say you know perhaps even just a month ago it feels like so definitely lean into that spiritual realm lean into your guide like i said i feel there's definitely major players because of this energy that you're currently in there's there's major players being um played within your spiritual realm so that way you can be rooted in transforming your physical by allowing that curiosity to come in uh, you know, allowing those seeds to be planted, but also allowing this overstimulated aspects within yourself to find a more rooted home is what's moving through me. I want to know what is something that you can be like, what's your anchor? What is something that you can anchor yourself in? Okay, there's two that fell out and I feel called to keep them. So we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to listen to what spirit says so you can be anchoring yourself right now in breathing and balance so anchor yourself in your breath and also balance so the trigger statement with breathing is i can't breathe but the true statement that spirit wants you to anchor yourself in is I open up to all possibilities and those are the seeds I love that and for balance the trigger statement is no one understands me and the true statement is I ask for what I need this is bringing in that root energy it brings bringing in that root energy that we were just talking about if you feel called uh, definitely um, you can use lavender right now in any way within your practice that feel, that you feel called to you know how you want to use lavender but lavender would definitely be great I'm also getting chamomile very soft like herbs I'm not feeling herbs that are quite um, you know I don't want to say powerful as though like they're not powerful they are powerful but they don't slap you <laughs> you know there's not like a slap that's happening it's more of a like a gentle come and cuddle kind of herbs and that's how I classify my herbs is very very strange I'm not even gonna like sit here and lie to you but I feel as though you understand what I'm saying you know, these like come cuddle with me herbs, you know, lavender, chamomile, things of this nature. All right, let's look at some inner work and outer work that can assist us along our individual path towards peace, love, joy, and abundance. So we're just gonna look at that, that inner work, things that we can be practically doing um, to just better align us. inner work okay so with the inner work spirit is moving through me um, the word struggle and there's this releasing of struggle internally so spirit is moving through me with this inner work being the releasing of struggle this is just giving you a chance to understand yourself a lot better but also i'm hearing as though you're releasing the questions of like why 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 there's kind of this acceptance of it just is that the why perhaps you'll find out the why later but right now is just 
this radical acceptance of who you are, um, of what you're made of, of like this feel of like your essence. And it's like this struggle just sort of just, it's like, it's like there's no longer this battle. And the most simplest way that spirit is moving through me to kind of explain it is like, It's like, oh, this is quite interesting. Okay, we'll go with it, fine. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Getting a lot of downloads is like, so it's like, um, this princess kind of vibes, right? Like soft and sweet. Um, but then there's also like this bad bitch vibes. <laughs> and it's like, perhaps in the past, there's like this struggle of like, you know, who do you embody, you know? Um, there's kind of like this sense of both. This sense of like, just, it is, it's both. You are, be, you know, it's not like the struggle. It's like you can move in and out. It's very, it's giving me very much um, shapeshifter kind of energy, very serpent-like kind of energy I'm hearing oh look how easily I shed look how easily I transform you know and this is very much authentically you you know it's like you're no longer putting yourself in this box of this is how I express and I resonate I resonate with where you are with that you know, there's no longer this idea of like, I need to express myself in this way and only this way for people to understand me. Um, and perhaps that transformation is kind of like, mm, I'm just gonna be. And that being is enough. And so like this other aspect of yourself that is wanting to express itself, it's giving, you know, it's having its time in the light it's having its time in the sun and within it just feels so much more fulfilling so that's that inner work right of finding this mediator and allowing both aspects or all aspects of yourself to just exist and not questioning why 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 it just is and finding that balance once again anchoring yourself in balance and knowing that it's your truth. It's your truth and it, it is. Love that. I resonate with, um, I resonate with you of that aspect of yourself of where you're at internally, of that inner work that you know, that you can be doing right now. For this outer work, because you are finding balance within your life, know that you don't have to fight fire with fire. Once again, you are understanding all these aspects within yourself and you're shedding quite easily and moving quite fluently like through the circumstances that are around you. And that outer work is to know that you don't have to fight fire with fire, that if you do that, everybody, including yourself, can get hurt, right? Because I'm, spirit is moving through me that there's something very inauthentic, right? Very reactionary from your fire, but it's not from a, but it's from that overstimulated kind of aspect within yourself. And then when you, reflect back on your day or you reflect back you think damn like that's that's not who I am right um so that's very interesting that that's coming up as well um because I once again understand that as well <laughs> um so everybody gets hurt including yourself okay so move so understand so so if you feel called, do this inner work so that way within your outer environment you can move in a way that feels more authentic to you and you're being true to yourself. You're being true to yourself. 
and also being true to what you deserve because once again you're releasing this idea of cruelty despair depression and having to um this idea that no one understands you or or anything of that nature there's just this rooted sense of self this rooted understanding of who you are and what it is that you need and now you're asking that your questions you're planting those seeds and making this transformation so very very beautiful beautifuls um i hope that this reading gave you some insight of what's coming in how to prepare for that um, what's leaving your your physical environment what you can be learning from your physical environment and also what's going on internally within your unseen world and that inner work and outer work that you can be doing and anchoring yourself in to better align you towards your individual path towards peace love joy and abundance anyway beautifuls thank you so much for being here and until the next one truth and love